Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about something that's as important in code as it is in life, and that's setting goals, right? So I, I have talked about I'm not where I want to be, and uh, that doesn't mean I'm not in a good place, by the way. I'm in a very good place, uh, but I want to be doing better, and I, I work every day to get to where I want to go. And I have goals, and I have short-term goals. I have sort of what I call like mid-tier goals, which are basically goals that are anywhere from uh, two to five years. It's kind of one year and lower is short-term for me as high, on my scale. And then I have long-term goals, which is basically everything past five years. And for the most part, I have very few long-term goals. It's the short-term goals that I'm trying to work towards. And sometimes you set unrealistic expectations on what you can actually accomplish in a set amount of time and and um, you know you have to give yourself a little bit of a buffer but I was just thinking because this is what I think about right every every day I come home and I I, I do YouTube I, I uh, answer emails and phone calls and comment back to subscribers and I do everything uh, to achieve these goals and I was just thinking that there's this one number that kept on um, popping up in my head and I had been, I, I wanted to, by 2020, have 100,000 subscribers is one, one of my goals, right? So we're in uh, August of 2017. So I, I give myself in that by the end of 2020. Now, if I could have it by the beginning, that'd be great, right? So that's goal number one. But I have three goals that all revolve around 100,000. So goal, goal uh, and I'm working towards every single one of these, right? So this is about why my mid-tier goals. Now... Uh, short. I'll talk about my short-term goals next. Now, my mid-tier goals are 100,000 subs, a $100,000 salary, and a $100,000 in the bank. And I was just thinking, Illuminati. Illuminati has blessed us, because these are all, believe it or not, achievable things, which is crazy, right? Uh, the Illuminati has shined a light on us and said, hey, uh, do you have that trifecta going on? We, you know, we know what we're, you know what we're all about. And so now I pray to the gods of the Illuminati. Um, but all jokes aside, um, these are my three goals. And one thing I want to say, my three mid-tier goals, right? One thing I want to say is that, is it possible that I won't achieve these? Of course it is. Even if I work every day to accomplish the, these goals, uh, it is entirely possible. But I think they're within the realm of possibility. I am uh, at about 25,000 subscribers. Uh, this month I grew by 2,000. If we say that I grow by 2,000 every month from this month on for the next three years, which would be the end of 2020, I'll hit my goal. Now, if, I, if my subs increase uh, a little bit every month, five or 10% in terms of sub growth, I'll hit it at that two-year mark or a little before that, right? So that's a very achievable goal. Uh, in terms of salaries, uh, I'm not too far away from knowing the job market and knowing where my, my salary is now and where it will be in the near future. I'm not too far away from hitting that that six-figure um, cap, right? So that's that's a goal of mine as well. Uh, you know, money's not everything, but this these are things that are important to me. Uh, financial stability and being able to have options I really, I really think you know to have options in life, you do need some money, but it isn't everything. But that, that's my goal in the short term, right? In the mid tier, right? The next two to three years, that's where I want to get. And in terms of saving money, because that's what it is to me, right? It's about having the options of can I do what I want to do? Yeah, until you run out of money, most of the most of the time. <laughs> can I? <coughs> excuse me. Do I have the stress of not being able to pay rent, pay the bills, and stuff like that? Um, if I have money saved up, I don't have to worry about that. So can I get my net worth to a hundred, hundred thousand, uh, in two and a half to three years? I, I think I can. Um, I guess three, three years and four months, three years and three months. I, I, I definitely can. So I'm about uh, a little over 10% of the way there. And the bulk of that, uh, savings, cause <clears throat> as you guys know, <coughs> excuse me, I came down here with, about three hundred dollars left over after my Airbnb, <clears throat> and uh, God, I've had this cold forever, so I'm sorry about that, guys. I had I came down here with little to no money, uh, just a car load full of stuff, and and sold everything else. And so after I rented a room, I had about three hundred dollars for my next paycheck, and then I um, 
uh, April came down and I had to pay her bills for a while because it took her about five, six months to get a job. And luckily, in the last three or four months that she's been working, we've been able to save quite a bit of money. April has her own savings. I have my own. And I've been able to, to save a, a healthy amount of money, uh, about about 50% of my income. So in the three or four months, I've been able to save about $10,000, which has been great to take the stress off of me, right? I, I've always been really worried about not having money coming from uh, you know a personal situation where I didn't have any. And so one of my goals is to, and by the way, this is the first time in my life I've ever hit that, that, that five digit savings category. And it's a very strange feeling. Um, cause it, it's like, you don't, the natural instinct is not to be proud of anything money related because you don't want to, you don't ever want to come off as somebody who that that's all that you care about, right? That's all that you, you want the, and that, that's not really the truth for me. I just want peace of mind. And for me, that's that's what gives it. Um, you know, I, w- I wish it could maybe be something deeper. Um, but that that's just that's just me. So those are my three mid-tier goals. The, uh, the Illuminati goal set, right? We got the 100K subs, 100K uh, salary, 100K um, uh, uh, net worth or whatever. And that money will probably go towards you know, stocks and stuff and investments and things like that. Um, so th- those are my mid tier. Now, the reason I- I'm bringing up goals and, you know, my short term goal right now is to, is to, um, continue learning, just become a better developer. And how am I going to do that? Well, I'm doing things like the nano degree program. That's a four month course. That's what short term goal there. I am, uh, constantly working on YouTube because I want to get, to 50,000. That's my short term goal is to double my YouTube channel in as quickly as possible. And I'm trying a few different things for that. So I'm experimenting right now. Uh, Another short term goal I have is to build the um, if you're if you're a member of the Facebook group, you'll notice that I threw out a poll the other day. Say, hey, would you rather have me write a book about sort of 50 developers inspiring stories? Or would you rather have me make a course about how to create a coding channel, what to watch out for, um, the tools and resources available for you, how to monetize it, all these sorts of things. So for those of you who don't know, like one, one big thing about YouTube is that you actually make very little ad revenue, but it gives you a great platform so that you can make whatever you make in ad revenue, you can actually easily double or triple it elsewhere through sponsors, through affiliate links, uh, and other other means, um, other very, very notable means, right? Um, you're only going to be marketing things to to people who who um, are your audience one, and you've earned that trust with them, and know that you're not going to just sell them some bootleg shit. And and two, uh, products that they're going to be interested in, right? There's a lot of when someone shows me something that I would be interested in, I'm like, oh man, how dare he try to get a five percent cut? Uh, so these are all things that are going to be talked about in that course. And to my surprise, of the 50 people who answered that, and I thought it was going to be the book. This is why this is why I don't know what I'm doing, right? So. I thought I was gonna gonna be writing a book and have all these great stories, and part of this was based on the fact that I, I kind of told my developer story and it got such positive feedback. I said, you know what's better than one developer story? Fifty developer stories, and that was gonna be something that I wanted to go and interview people and write. And writing's always been sort of a, a sideline passion of mine, and. And so I really thought it was going to be this book. And then it was like 45 people said the course and then four people said the book. So we're definitely building the course. I probably will do the book eventually. I think um, that's going to be one of those five-year projects where I slowly inch it out piece by piece. While the course I can continually work on, but I can finish that in a couple months um, to to get going. So those are my short-term goals, my mid-term goals. The long-term I, as of right now, I really don't have any long, long-term goals. For the most part, I, I try to think five years in it ahead of time because based off where my midterm goals sort of get achieved or where I'm at will determine what my next five years is like, right? So that's how I, I look at it. So every, everyone's a little bit different. Uh, one thing I want to say about goals is that goals without, without a plan of action are nothing but words. So every goal that I've talked about right now I have a plan of how I'm going to do it. How am I going to 
how am I going to uh, get to 100,000 subscribers? I'm going to continue working on content every single day. I'm going to experiment with content. I'm going to see what works, what doesn't work. I'm going to be doing giveaways. I'm going to be uh, collaborating. I've, I've reached out. I'm going to hire people to help me with my channel and, and things like that. So I have a plan there. How am I going to raise my salary? I'm going to continue studying. I'm going to continue my self-education as well as perhaps my college education and, fit and go the traditional route. These are all things I'm going to do. How am I going to save money, I'm gonna make more money, and I'm gonna save more money, and I'm going to invest more money. So currently I'm able to invest 50% of my income. That will always, no matter how much money I make, I'll probably stay at that until I have a surplus, I guess. Uh, I, don't, I don't need that much money in life. I just want a good computer, rent, and food in the fridge, and I'll be happy, right? And whatever April wants, right? So that's, that's basically it. She needs more than that. <laughs> but it's, uh, that's neither here nor there. So. Uh, for me, it's peace of mind. Um, but, you know, how am I going to do these courses? I, I'm going to look and see what the job market is in the short term to see what I should learn and how I should move forward. I'm going to reach out to developer friends I know and and confirm that, you know, hey, is this something that, what's your thoughts? I'm going to be in, involved in the in the coding community as much as possible. That's a long-term goal. If you want to talk about something that's longer than five years, for me, it's this. It's coding in general in whatever facet it may be right so what i what, I, what i'm trying to say because I, I don't want this video to be about my goals and how i'm going to accomplish them i want them i want you to understand that illuminati and and that you need to have a plan of action when you're going to do this otherwise it's just words right and if you if you just say one day or someday I'm going to do that one day and someday comes very quickly and you it's usually before you're ready. One thing that I that I learned the hard way is that by the time I wanted to be somewhere, like really wanted to be somewhere, uh, I I had wished I start three or four years earlier. And so now if you think someday I want to, someday I want to be uh, a digital nomad or self-employed, okay. Now you say, how, how long? Five years? What can I do five years to make that a much closer reality than it is before? What do I have to do? What skills do I have to do? What businesses can I start? What side incomes can I get? And you really need to start working at it every single day. And I'm not joking, guys. I go home every day and if I'm not writing code, I'm doing something on YouTube. If I'm not doing something on YouTube, I'm watching something on here. If I'm not doing that, I'm I'm trying to make some affiliate money. I'm trying to uh, I'm reaching back out to recruiters. I'm doing whatever it is that helps me move forward to accomplish my goals. And so I don't want you. I don't want anybody to be just think that things are going to work out. That is a really bad plan. Could they? Yeah. Let's just say 10% of people are lucky enough that they are just planning on things working out. So you're in the best case world, one in 10, right? One in 10 in which your goals and your dreams just magically are here. And if that is you, you're lucky. Okay. <laughs> but the other nine in 10, you want your goals and dreams, go and get them, go and work towards them, go and achieve them because nine out of 10 times, they're not just going to show up at your doorstep. So I hope you guys are working on your goals. And that could be stuff like, I want to go from a front-end developer to a back-end developer or a full-stack developer. I want to get my internship. I want to start learning to code. I want to do all this sort of stuff. Okay, you want if there's something you want, great. Now, remember that feeling. Remember that want and devise a game plan to go out there and accomplish that goal. So I hope, I hope you guys are out there grinding. I hope you guys are trying to figure out what your goals are, why they're important to you, and how you're going to achieve them. So that, that's, my, that's my memo today. Or my, that's my message. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, I appreciate you guys so much for helping me accomplish my goals. YouTube has been an amazing thing, and I, I will continue to do this until ever tell i'm not here anymore i guess that's really the game plan uh so i'll see you guys next time bye hey guys thanks for watching the video 
Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.